Hello everyone, welcome back to another episode here in Eat Sleep Brief. And this week I'm gonna be doing kind of a how-to video, a really important one, how to properly clean uh, your power heads, your skimmers, any equipment you have that's in your sump, in your aquarium that will build up either algae, uh, coralline, anything of that sort. Uh, I'm gonna be showing you guys how to clean that today. Previously, as you guys know, a lot of people used to recommend cleaning your either power heads, skimmers, whatever, uh, frag racks in your reef tanks with vinegar. Recently, a lot of people have been doing studies on that and seeing that it actually will, in a way, let's say a wave maker, for instance, it'll get into the plastic and eventually it'll start eating away the magnet on the inside. It'll mess up the seals, it'll dry up the seals. Long story short, it's probably not the best to be used for a reef tank. So a lot of people out there, you probably start seeing videos. I know Inappropriate started doing one. Uh, I've seen a few others, but a lot of people are switching to citric acid. Now this can be bought in many different forms. This here was bought on Amazon. I know BRS sells their own version as well. Um, I think some like Walmarts will also sell it. At the end of the day, you want all you really want is just citric acid. It comes in a powdered form. And this is supposed to be a lot softer, yet a quicker cleaner than vinegar. So we're gonna see today how good this is. And um, one thing I, I would always notice with vinegar, especially when it came to your power cords, I would always notice it would dry them out. It, they never felt kind, uh, you know, not as rubbery once I did do the vinegar. So after using today, after using the citric bath, we're gonna be able to see if it either changed the uh, feel of the, the, the rubber, any of the seals, and I'll give you guys my honest thoughts on it. So what I have here is a five gallon bucket. Uh, what I was able to research, I got a few different uh, mixing uh, suggestions from people but pretty much I went to BRS and I went off whatever BRS citric acid uh, they sell so if you go off off BRS they recommend three quarters of a cup of this for every gallon of fresh water that can be tap water RODI I really don't think it matters but it's three quarters of a cup of this for every gallon now this is a five gallon bucket this one pound bag was slightly short. This would have treated four gallons uh, to that ratio perfectly. I really don't think it, it, it really matters. So what I have here is my great white skimmer. You can see her in there. It's got quite a bit of gunk. Believe it or not, guys, I'm pretty impressed. This thing has been running for, not even kidding you guys, maybe six minutes. And I'm already seeing a bunch of gunk start coming off. I can already see on the inside it's a little bit hard to pick up, but it's a lot clearer than it was. I'm not sure if I'm supposed to be wearing gloves when I'm putting my hand in this stuff, but if I am, you know, I'll be your, I'll be the guinea pig for you guys. But yeah, I'm not sure if you are supposed to be wearing gloves. I'd probably just play it safe and wear your gloves. My God, look at that! It's coming right off. Like I'm not, I'm not even having to scrub it. I'm just having to run my finger past it and it's lifting everything up. A really cool thing, this GW5 skimmer does have an O-ring. I'm trying to get it out, but I can't. Well, anyways, it has an O-ring right here. I can still feel the O-ring. It feels very rubbery to the feel. Um, yeah, I'm I like, really liking it so far. Like I mentioned earlier, I know with vinegar, anytime I would do a vinegar bath, the power cord that was submerged in the vinegar would be stiffer. It would lose its properties of being flexible. So far I'm seeing, yeah, they're both just as flexible. So what we're gonna do, I'll probably leave it running here for maybe five, six hours. A lot of people were telling me that the citric acid actually will work a lot quicker than vinegar. Uh, but just for the hell of it, we're gonna leave it here for a few hours. But I can already see, look at all the gunk just flying everywhere. Before I threw it in here, I did get a picture. I didn't get a video, but I got a picture. You can see here what it looked like. It was just tons of gunk everywhere on the side. I mean, just your standard, uh, you know, buildup you'd have on five, six months of running a reef tank. And that's another thing. I highly recommend you guys cleaning uh, your power heads, cleaning your skimmers, clean your returns, at least, guys, at least, you know, once a year, at the very least. 
Uh, in an ideal world, probably every four to five months. You know, a lot of us ain't going to do that. Uh, but if you can get around them, you know, once a year, uh, you should be more than fine. So we're going to do, guys, we're going to check back in a few more hours. And I'll let you guys know. So far, like I said, I'm not wearing any gloves. I don't know if it's going to mess up my hand. It didn't. Let me see. I don't think it said anything about wearing gloves. Oh, causes serious. Wash your hands thoroughly after handling wear eye protection. If it occurs, we're inside. Yeah, no. So yeah, we should be pretty good. I mean, don't leave it on your hand. It is an acid. Um, but it says, yeah, look, it's good for food, good for dishes, good for laundry. I mean, this stuff is just like vinegar. It's good for a lot of stuff. So let's check back a little bit later. A few moments later. The skimmer's been sitting here in the water for, I'd say, a good probably five hours. And I'm noticing immediately right off the bat, it's like stuff is, is it, it comes right. I really don't even need to scrub it. I just pass this little wet towel. Look at that, it's crystal clear. Another thing I had noticed, it's pretty difficult to do with one hand, but let me try, I'm gonna try my best. This right here, this and, and a few right here and a few other spots was actually coralline or at least the beginning of coralline it was you know there was really no way to remove it um, before dipping it in here you could tell it, it was pretty strong and right now look at that it's really no force whatsoever look at that it it's like it turned into nothing can you guys see that you could just see it, it comes off and it's almost like slimy in a way. It's really crazy. You could see right here too, that's also coralline. I don't even need to scrub it, just wipe it. And it's all coming down or coming off. But I think for you guys out there wondering if it works, uh, citric acid works, it absolutely works. Now, there's a few o-rings on this bad boy there's one here there's this one here from what i can feel they feel the same to me they haven't lost their rubbery consistency more importantly like i said before i always noticed on the power cords in vinegar they would clearly lose their properties of being flexible as far as i can tell and feel feels the same to me. I don't feel it's changed in texture, changed in consistency. So I think it's safe to say that, oh shoot, that almost got all over me. Um, but I think it's safe to say that based off what I've seen so far, this is actually better than vinegar. Yeah, so I can tell you guys with certainty if you haven't tried this method, it's better than vinegar. And yeah, it, it worked a lot quicker than vin vinegar. I would notice you'd have to leave it overnight. And then it still kind of took some scrubbing. This stuff, you I mean, you just saw even Coraline literally oozed right off of it. So I highly recommend you guys checking it out. Once you are happy with how clean it is and everything I highly recommend you rinse it out just regular tap water it doesn't need to be RODI just regular water I want to make sure to remove as much as a citric acid on all the components uh, so you can see here I'm doing my best to remove it gave it a few rinses went over everything a few times and once assembled I went over it again uh, one thing I did notice is I probably will recommend you guys to wear gloves I noticed on my hands uh, they just changed a little bit they felt a little bit different for the time I was uh, or the time I had my hand inside the citric acid. Uh, nothing bad did happen, but like I said, if you do got gloves around, I probably recommend you uh, to wearing them. But other than that, it's pretty straightforward. We're all clean, we're all rinsed off. I made sure I used enough tap water to rinse all the citric acid off. And uh, this is my final thoughts on it. So would I recommend this over vinegar? Absolutely, I would recommend it way over vinegar. Um, it's a lot better it's a lot quicker and I, I notice this stuff just rubs off it seemed to be a lot easier where vinegar 
you know, I would soak it for the whole night and it would still need, you know, a little bit of elbow grease, uh, brush or sponge. This stuff really with just passing my finger over it, uh, it would all come off. The coral line it had on it, I mean, everything, look at it. I mean, if I wouldn't have told you guys any different, you probably would have thought this thing is brand new, right? Um, also very important, all the silicone, all the rubber, all the seals, I noticed them not degrade whatsoever. They didn't lose their uh, rubbery properties. Everything, as far as I can see, is uh, better than vinegar, especially when it comes to maintaining the seals, the silicone, and the rubber. I would notice with the vinegar, especially the cord would get stiffer. You know, this part was, wasn't even exposed to the citric this was. I don't notice any difference. Same with the silicone, same with these rubber seals. There's a rubber seal in here. So if you guys are out there, I would highly recommend you to probably never use vinegar again. Why? I mean, why would you? There's no reason to use it. This stuff is a lot quicker, a lot better, and I think it's a little bit more inexpensive than vinegar. Vinegar can get uh, quite pricey, uh, but even if it wasn't, just based on the result and based off what vinegar can do to your magnets, that alone I would never use it. So. If you guys are looking for a great product to clean your skimmers, clean your return pumps, clean your wave makers, clean pretty much any part of your aquarium, reactors, anything of that sort, I highly recommend you guys using citric acid. One note I do want to give you guys before I leave you, I probably would recommend you wearing gloves. I didn't wear any gloves. Um, it wasn't burning me, but I did notice my skin, you know, at the moment I was using it, just get a little bit different. I really don't know how to explain it. So if you do have gloves, be sure to use them. If you don't have gloves, just rinse your hands really well. You'll be perfectly fine. And um, that's gonna be it. So I'd love to hear in the comments if you guys use citric acid, what are your thoughts? What have you found comparing it to vinegar? If any of you guys have any questions, comments, or concerns, please leave them down in the comment box below. Thank each and every one of you very much for watching. As always, happy reefing.